Okay, so now we've got the uh, the submersible pump in the pool, in the swimming pool. Um, it's standing on the second step, as you can see. And we've connected up the, the motor cable back to the control box, which is sitting here. It's still in the on position. Um, and then that is connected to the, the drive, which is just next to it and in turn that's connected to the main supply which goes back to the back to the source power source so we're going to start it um, it's going to run again at 30 hertz for a brief few seconds and then thereafter it will ramp up to 50. so let's begin okay 30 hertz and there she ramps 40 50 as can be seen pump is running you can actually see the water coming out of course there's no back pressure so there's a lot of lot of flow but very little head and we're able to regulate the speed down Going down to 40 odd hertz, no problem. Flow is reduced somewhat at the pump. Continue down to 30 hertz. Still absolutely no problem at all. Volume of course is reduced substantially now. And we'll continue coming down to even 20 hertz. Now we can hear it's at 11 hertz. We can hear that the start cap is kicking in. So I'm going to switch it off. So I think the moral of the story here is as long as you're running above 20 odd hertz you can operate with the existing starter box and uh, a VSD with absolutely no problems at all.